So good afternoon. I'm here with Christine Bayou from the Alfred S. Faust Intermediate School in East Rutherford. Good afternoon, Christine. Hi, Leah. So nice to chat with you today. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing a virtual cup of coffee with me. I wish it was, uh, you know, normal times and we could be in your classroom. But for now, we'll, we'll settle for this. Um, this is good enough. Yes. Yeah. So, Christine, um, what do you teach? I teach 7th and 8th grade honors English and regular 8th grade English language arts. Awesome. And how long have you been teaching for? I've been teaching now for 18 years. Wow. Okay. So you were a veteran um, district. Yes. So, Christine, we were just having a conversation about your educational philosophy. Do you want to talk a little to that? Oh, sure. Sure. I think that it's important for every educator to figure out who they are as an educator and what their ultimate goal is in the end. And for me, my philosophy on education has very little to do with the content that I teach. It's more based on the relationships that I form with my students. And as soon as they walk through my door in my classroom, you know, they see right away all of the things that I love in my life, like pineapples which have wonderful spiritual sentimentality about standing tall being sweet on the inside being strong artwork they feel very welcome right away because my classroom is basically an extension of my home I have lots of live plants and throughout the year kids help me update the decorations seasonally but getting back to the philosophy it's very important for me right away that I give the kids lots of love lots of respect, lots of compassion, and make connections with them right away. Because when children feel loved and respected, they feel motivated to learn, they feel safe to take risks in an environment. And once you've provided that kind of an environment for them, they have a wonderful foundation, and then they can spread their wings, and they can just soar through the curriculum in the most beautiful way. And I just feel so honored to be with the kids and watch them take that journey. That's awesome. And absolutely, I I totally agree. And I think it's so important to have those relationships. (laughs) I'm sure it's really paid off being in quarantine and, and, you know, it gives you an opportunity to, you know, continue those, even though it's virtual. Um, I think if you don't have that basis, it's harder to connect with kids when we're not in school. So I'm sure they're benefiting from those connections you made earlier in the year. Um, Oh, thank you. I think they are benefiting from it. When I look at their work or when I talk to them, you know, I always ask them, how are you? What are you doing during quarantine besides work? And that wonderful way to sort of open the door to let them know, like, hey, I'm still here. I'm your teacher. I miss you. I love you. We'll be together again soon, hopefully. And then we get to the content. Absolutely. Well, thank you for that. Um, That's an encouraging message and philosophy. And thank you for sharing a virtual cup of coffee with me. And to the East East Rutherford School District. Go Wildcats. Go Wildcats.